Anyone can give up. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. But to hold it together when everyone else would understand if you fell apart, that is true strength. Miyamoto Musashi, my favorite Japanese samurai, fought multiple duels, never lost, was creative, amazing, an amazing artist, an amazing swordsman, amazing philosopher, interesting guy. And I think we can take from the past a lot of his lessons. Just stick with this 10 to 15 minutes each and every day. You can do it. You'll have your ups and downs, but if you don't give up, it will come to you. And I tell everyone, don't worry about how long it takes. Once you master the charts, you'll more than make up for the amount of time it took you to gain the skills. Let's jump into these charts. Everything up for the day except Bitcoin futures down 1.38%, but let's look at the S&P 500. Check out this tight channel we have right here. Seen how things have moved up still below the 200 EMA, so we're not looking for any long moves yet, but just sliding sideways. The STC's at the top. Can it go higher? Yes, it can. Uh, what happens if it breaks? Then we're probably going to see things pop over to the red on the STC, of course, with red down candles. Now, look at where we are positioned with the two-day chart. Trying to push through, still hasn't done it. We've been hitting it with wicks for the last four four-day candles, but not pushed through yet. Price percent oscillator is, I'm sorry, STC is positive heading up. We look at the weekly we can see that the weekly is, now we pull that, you can see it moved down toward the 200 EMA and has come off of it. But again, price not rising higher so far this week than last week and a smaller candle. And we see the STC is still negative. So again, the market is trying to find some legs. What is it going to do? Is it going to rotate over and head down again and give us some opportunities for successful down trades as it has in the past? That is possible. We will wait. We will see. We don't have anything right now. Let's look at the cues. Where are we there? Same kind of thing. Again, had some opportunities for short trades recently. And as we look at where things are now, we're just in a channel right now. The STC is green on the half-day chart. On the two-day, similar to the S&P 500, we can see where this latest uh, two-day candle has not hit the high of the prior one. So again, we're continuing to watch, wait and see. And of course, look at the weekly chart. Same kind of thing, and the weekly is still red. So as far as our success multiplier formula goes on both the S&P and the NASDAQ 100, it is minus 11 at this point. So again, that is only that two-day chart is going in the... No, I'm sorry, it's minus 10. The two-day and the half-day are going up. It's the weekly that is going down. So we'll continue to keep an eye on things, see just what's up, where things are going to go. But again, we're looking for short trades because our 200 EMA, we are below it on our half day chart. So we'll wait, watch and see as this market tries to straighten itself out. Let's move on the half day chart, move on to 20 year bonds. Where are we there? I jumped out of my 20 year bond trade this morning, didn't get all the way down to the 2.67% mark. Things were heading down and then I saw things pop up in the morning. And that of course was cause for me to go ahead and pull that trade and take about three quarters, 1%, something like that on the trade. That's all right. I, uh, I made some a little bit of money on that. Did not capture everything, but you don't always capture everything. The trick is to win, move ahead, and keep winning. So that is where we were. That's where we are as far as that practice trade went. We look at the two-day chart, and of course, 
it is green, whereas the half day is down. It's green as far as the STC goes. However, of course, you can see that we are just layering in there three red down candles on the two-day chart and on the weekly two after a prior three weeks ago, a green up candle. And of course, the STC is red. So red on the weekly, red on the half day, green on the two day. So again, we'll continue to watch and see how bonds sort themselves out. And again, all the market in flux, trying to figure out what to do. And we're in the summertime trading zone. So we expect things to be short-lived, sucky, not a lot of fun, but I'm telling you, this is just a time we have to go through. I don't encourage you to follow that market adage of sell in May, go away, live to trade another day. I want you to work through it. And then when you get to the fat time, the, sum, the out of the summertime trading zone into the fall winter trading zone, you'll be so thankful and you'll understand why it's called the fat time of year. Now let's look at gold. Where is gold? Well, the half day chart is, as far as the STC goes, positive, but we're still below. We bounced off twice or moved toward it twice. The 200 EMA still negative. We had two days of strong down movement. We've got a day of some up movement, 0.60%. That's the half day. We look at the two-day, it is negative on the STC, and again, sort of a sideways slide here over many days. We look at the weekly chart, and of course, it too is negative, so we still have a lot of negative stuff in gold. We had those four weeks of strong down movement in gold, and now this sideways slide. So lots of negativity there. What are we waiting for? Well, the success multiplier formula has us loaded for bear for a down move in gold. What does that mean to you? Well, it means you would be looking, of course, to buy puts if that opportunity presents itself in your practice trading. Now, if you know how to buy puts in your practice trades, then that's all well and good if you're, under, if you're familiar with options. If you're not, really don't have a good inverse fund to offer to you. DGZ is out there. It's just not very liquid. Not the kind of thing I jump into. But Patreon supporters, don't forget, we do have our live Patreon Q&A tomorrow. And of course, if you become a Patreon supporter, you can join us for that. In addition, in addition, you get our three-part series, Options Made Simple, The Charting Wealth Way. That's the first one of the first trainings you receive with any of the three levels of membership. Now, that's where we are on gold. Lastly, we'll go to Bitcoin. We see that as far as Bitcoin goes, that is the Bitcoin future, XBTF, which you can buy on virtually any stock trading exchange if you've got an online broker and such, you could buy it. Now, I wouldn't be buying it right now. It was down for the day 1.38%. We can see this channel that's, that has been sliding sideways. Got a little bit more volatile lately, but again, just sliding sideways, not breaking out at this point. STC is positive, but that doesn't mean much at all to us. Why? Because this sideways slide has made that indicator virtually worthless at that level. We look at where we are on the two-day. It is negative. Again, we see where things bottomed out back on the 12th of May and then sort of popped up and slid down and just sort of popping around at this point. Nothing to get us excited. Look at the weekly. Again, we can see where things bound down that week of the 9th of May. And then since then, just sort of sliding sideways. A red doji last week, a green doji so far this week. Lots of indecision. Has Bitcoin hit a bottom or is it simply absorbed all these or is absorbing, digesting all these losses and getting ready to boom down again? I don't know. I know that I'm not in Bitcoin right now and I'm not about to take any of those risks with all of these losses. I'm going to wait for Bitcoin to rotate over going up and to get some really good buy signals 
before initiating any practice trades on Bitcoin. That's where we are, folks. As we end the day on Tuesday, go into Wednesday. Look forward to having the Patreon folks with me tomorrow afternoon, 1230 Eastern Daylight Time here in the States for the live Q&A. If you've not already gotten your questions to us, the ETFs or stocks you want us to help you backtrack for practice trading, get them to me tonight. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth. World Headquarters.